I'm Alex Farnham and welcome to Animalist News. And I'm Amber the Intern, animal journalist and animal lover. There's so much we don't know about animals, but don't worry, Amber the Intern is here to give us some insight. Hello Amber, and welcome to Animalist News. Well, I'm sure we've all noticed that sloths are super trendy nowadays, and it's easy to see why. I mean, just look at those cute little faces. However, very few people know that two-toed and three-toed sloths are actually not related. Although the two commonly live together, have similar habits, they actually evolved to their arboreal lifestyles independently. In fact, the only connection they have is that they both are from the Xenartha suborder that appeared over 60 million years ago. From there, the two species evolved convergently, gathering similar traits in the same way that birds, bats, and insects all have wings. Isn't that slothsome? Haha, <laughs> slothsome indeed. I like what you did there. So, okay, I have another question. If they're not related, how did they get the same name? Well, when Spanish explorers found sloths in the rainforest, they couldn't figure out what they were. I mean, Alex, you have to admit, they do look pretty odd. Yeah. Well, I guess the explorers figured that they both looked weird enough to be related. They wrote back to their country saying that these creatures were slow and stupid and crippled. Well, that's just mean. So they named it Perizosa, which means lazy in Spanish. And what's a better way of saying lazy in English? Sloth. Exactly. So how can you tell them apart? What's like their major differences? Well, for one, they can't eat the same meals. Bratapus, or three-toed, actually have incredibly sensitive stomachs and can only eat very selective types of leaves. Bratapus are characterized by their bandit mask and dark hair, while the two-toed, or coloepis, is generally larger, faster, and more nocturnal. Plus, they have that cute little piggy nose. I bet you didn't know that the two-toed sloth actually does have three toes, but only on its hind legs. Actually, I did know that because you told me earlier in a meeting. All right, uh, if you had to pick your favorite sloth, which would you choose? Oh, I would definitely pick a two-toed. I mean, they're just so cute. What about you? Um, I'd probably pick a three-toed because uh, it has three toes and it's the one that you didn't pick. Now, we want to know what your favorite thing about sloths is. Comment below and tell us your thoughts and feelings, uh, any emotion that your keyboard can express. And let us know if you want to see more of this segment, if you liked it, hated my guts, you know, all that good stuff. Oh, stop it. Nobody's going to hate your guts. I mean, you've owned over 72 pets and you have your own animal blog, for God's sake. But Amber, you have to get back to work. Fine, I'll go edit your stupid face some more, Alex. Well, that's it for today's episode of Animalist News. Let's all thank Amber for stopping by. Make sure to check out these videos over here. Be sure to subscribe to our channel by clicking this button below. And cop yourself a killer Animalist t-shirt at animalist.com slash store, baby. I'll see you hairy mammals tomorrow. Yada da mean, yeah.